There's no doubt that having a solid morning routine is a great way to start your day in a productive and positive manner. And there's a whole bunch of research behind the effects of morning routines and how they can help to set you up in the right mindset for the day. But how many of us actually have a morning routine that sets us up for success and allows us to start the day as we mean to go on? Most of us have some sort of routine in the morning, whether that's getting up, brushing your teeth, showering, getting changed, eating breakfast, etc, etc. But for the large majority of us, we're just going through the motions, and I'm not sure we could necessarily call this a routine or an especially thought out one. In this video, I'm going to help you create a morning routine that is personalised, that suits you and that sets you off on the right foot. I won't sit here and tell you what you should and shouldn't do, but instead I'm going to help you figure out what you need to own your mornings. If all of that sounds good, please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos on how to live the life you want. And make sure you stick around to the end of the video where we'll discuss not only why the routine is so important, but how it can help you in different aspects of your life without you even realising it. Awesome, let's get started. If you're someone that has never really put any thought into having a morning routine, and so far this whole video has left you feeling a little bit confused, then you've come to the right place. First things first, I want to point out that a morning routine should not be a chore. It shouldn't feel like a lot of effort, and it definitely shouldn't take up a whole bunch of your time. What it should be is a gentle way to wake up and set your intentions for the day. By creating a routine and sticking to it, you're in control and you get to determine how your day pans out. I also want to say that I don't believe in completely revamping your routine. As humans, we like to take the path to least resistance. So if we're trying to introduce too many new things at once, we'll often find ourselves slipping back into our old habits and ways that worked for us before. We are essentially overloading our system. And when we're looking to create a new morning routine, it needs to be exactly that, a routine. It needs to be something that we do day in, day out, almost without thinking about it. So we want to try and keep it as simple as possible by adding a couple of new things to your current routine to maximize your success. So first things first, I want you to write out what your current morning routine looks like. Everything that you do from the moment you first get out of bed to the moment you leave the door or you start your working day. For example, making your bed, brushing your teeth, having a shower, eating breakfast, etc, etc. And try to list this in the order that it happens. I would suggest grabbing a pen and paper and making this list physical, so feel free to pause this video while you do so. I'll wait. Author of Atomic Habits, James Clear, talks about writing a daily habit scorecard, where you write down everything that you do in a day and then you give it a score depending on how it helps you reach your goals. So let's use this for our mornings. So once you've written out all of your morning habits, I want you to rate them in one of three ways. If the habit is useful and it's something that's helping you to work towards future you and to reach all of your goals, I want you to put a tick next to it. If it's something that actively inhibits you from creating success and reaching those goals, I want you to put a cross next to it. And if it's something that really doesn't affect it either way, just put a neutral sign next to it. For example, I have ticks next to things like turning off my alarm, making my bed and jumping into the shower. I have crosses next to checking my phone as soon as I wake up. And I have neutral signs next to things like putting on makeup and texting my mum. And I know this might sound counterintuitive, but I want you to try not to think too much about this while you're doing it. Try not to analyse your habits. Just simply give them a tick, a cross or a neutral sign and move on. Once we've analysed our current morning routine, we need to figure out what is it that we're trying to achieve. Ask yourself, are you trying to start the day with more energy? Are you trying to nourish your body better? Is it to create structure to your day? What has brought you to this video and what are you hoping to achieve from it? Next, we need to figure out how long you have. Are you someone that rolls out of bed 15 minutes before you need to be somewhere, throws on clothes and runs out the door? If you are, and you like to leave everything to the last minute, we need to change that. That means waking up earlier. By all means, we do not all have to be a part of the 5am club. But if you do want to start your morning off right, and you want to create a successful routine, you will need to allow some time to do this. So if you're a last minute morning kind of person, wake up half an hour earlier and try and give yourself some time to play with and see how that works for you. This will allow you 30 extra minutes to create a routine and supercharge your morning and you might find that you're actually more energised because of it. If you're someone that already wakes up with time to spare, define exactly how much time you have. Is it 30 minutes or an hour and a half? This is a really important step to take because we need to know exactly how much time we've got before we go ahead and design our routine. So from here, I want you to write down everything that you would like to achieve in your mornings. A great way to do this is to start a new list and write down all of your current habits that have a tick next to them. So all of those things that are actively helping you to work towards your goals. And then from here, also write down the things that you've been meaning to do or wanting to do for a while. 
For example, if you're wanting to read more this year, or if you're someone that wants to be more present, you could add meditation or mindfulness. At this point, anything that you want to add is totally fine. This routine needs to be personalized to you, and so whatever feels right is what should be on there. Find something that aligns with what you identified as important earlier and run with that. On that note, I have two things to add here. And one goes back to something I said at the beginning of the video. I think it's really important that we try to just stick with one activity to start with. So if we're adding something new like reading, meditation or movement, we're just adding one of those into our routine for now. By just adding one thing in at a time, it means that we've only got one extra thing that we need to focus on and we are not overloading our brains or making things too complicated first thing in the morning. By starting here, we definitely have a better chance of sticking to this routine and creating habits that are gonna help you in the future. And once we've done this, further down the line, we can always add more things in if necessary. And secondly, if you're stuck choosing between a couple of things that you'd like to add into your routine in the morning, don't worry. Just because we are designing this routine for you now, doesn't mean that it has to be like this forever. It's actually really healthy and probably a good idea to switch up your routine every now and then. So for now, pick the activity that is the most relevant to you right now and aligns with your goals and will help you in your day-to-day -day life and see how it goes. And like I said before, if it does work for you, eventually we can build on that and add in the other activities too. And that's not to say that the things you want to achieve each day must be done in the morning. There's definitely ways to make time to read, meditate, move, etc., etc., at other points in the day. So once we've identified what exactly Exactly we would like to add to our morning routine, we need to figure out where it fits. James Clear also introduces this topic of habit stacking, which is essentially where we add a new habit onto something that we already do to allow for greater success. If you're wanting to add reading into your morning routine, why not do it straight after something that is already firmly implemented into your routine? For example, showering. That way, you know exactly when it's gonna happen and when you need to read, and you don't have to make a decision about it. It almost becomes automated. If you're looking to add meditation into your routine, why not do it straight after making your bed? That way, you've got a nice, clean, clear space to do it, and again, you know exactly when it needs to happen. I don't know about you, but I don't love making decisions in the morning, so stacking habits is a really positive and helpful thing for me. This is also great because we're not assigning an exact time to our routine. So if you wake up earlier or later than usual, your whole routine doesn't have to go out the window just because the numbers on the wall say something different. You still know what needs to happen and your routine can go ahead as planned with each action happening after the one before it. Now by this point, if you haven't already, it would be a really good idea to write down your new routine on paper. This doesn't need to be super specific, but try to add everything that you do from the moment you wake up to the moment your working day starts and put them in the order that you would like them to occur. This list might look a little bit lengthy, but most of the things on it won't take more than five minutes, if that. So really, the whole thing shouldn't take you very long at all. And then put this list somewhere where you can see it, either on the wall or on your desk, so that you're constantly reminded of what needs to happen each morning and you don't even have to think about it. And if you find that there are habits such as being distracted on your phone, that are interrupting your morning routine, it can be really helpful to have some rules in place for that as well. For example, not allowing yourself to use your phone until after you have completed everything on your morning routine is a really good one to making sure that you start your day right and you get everything done without distractions. So that's our design done. It's now really, really important that we stick to this routine. I know that you know that, but let me tell you why. Not only is this a great way to ensure that your day starts off well, but by doing this, you're taking the first steps to defining who you are who you want to be and the kind of life that you want to lead. And you're sending signals to yourself as well as others that you are organized, reliant and self-sufficient. And that's why it's really, really important to stick to your routine, even on days that you wanna sleep in and even on days when you feel like you don't have time to do it. It's not necessarily the things that you're actually doing that will affirm this as a part of your identity, but the fact that you're doing it, the fact that you're showing up for yourself day in, day out, even when you don't want to, is another step towards building and living the life that you've always wanted to live and being the person that you've always wanted to be. So there you are, equipped and ready to smash your mornings with your own personalized morning routine that is designed to help you achieve and succeed in a way that works for you. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did and you want to see more, please check out my channel. I have a whole bunch more videos to help you design the life that you want to lead and be the person that you've always wanted to be. And in the meantime, I will see you in the next video.